Hi, this is Prasad Narayan, and in this video, I'll be talking about business analysis, the role of a business analyst, and why I think that the subject business analysis must be taught in management institutes and also in engineering colleges, especially for computer science students. Wikipedia defines business analysis as a research discipline of identifying business needs and determining solutions to business problems. Solutions often include a software systems development component. The person who carries out this task is called a business analyst or simply a BA. Now, identifying business needs. What are business needs? Business needs are gaps that an organization talks about where it is at the moment and where it would eventually like to be by successfully meeting business goals. When you talk about business problems, business problems could be any of too many customer complaints, sales being down at an all time low, poor quality of products. Let's focus on business analyst. The International Institute of Business Analysis or IIBA describes the role of a BA as a liaison among stakeholders in order to understand the structure, policies and operations of an organization and to recommend solutions that enable the organization to achieve its goals. When you talk about software systems development, BA's role would be to bridge between technology and solutions or sorry, between business and technology. Stakeholders that a business analyst works very closely are software developers uh, or software development teams, test engineers, which are part of the quality assurance team. Now the role of a software developer is to write efficient code. The role of a test engineer is to write test cases, test plans, and execute these test cases as part of testing. What about the role of a business analyst? While the project manager ensures that the product is delivered on time, within the budget, ensuring that the quality is met, the BA ensures that the product is built according to the specifications, according to the requirements. The role of a BA is requirements gathering and analysis, translating and simplifying requirements, requirements management and communication, that is communicating, communicating to the stakeholders. When you talk about requirements, uh, let's take a simple example of a login password functionality. The requirement for a password would be that it should at least be eight characters long, there should at least be one special character, at least one uppercase. So basically a combination of alphanumeric characters and eight characters long. Why are requirements so important? Development and testing without requirements can be extremely difficult. If you don't know what is required in the software, how will you know what to test? Software requirement specification business requirements document or documentation, functional requirements, non-functional requirements, business cases or simply use cases are some of the deliverables of a BA. And these terms that I just said are used interchangeably. Functional requirements, what are functional requirements? Any requirement which specifies what the system should do. Function requirements are about the features that the application or the system is, is going to support. For a banking application, an example could be when a customer's account gets opened, the bank should send an email or a text message or a WhatsApp message to the customer stating that his or her account has been opened. What about non-functional requirements? Non-functional requirements relates to performance. It relates to security. It's about load. A query 
should respond in X number of seconds. So we are basically telling about the performance of a system. It's, it talks about number of concurrent users, how much load can a system handle. FIFA World Cup. I was told that every four years when FIFA World Cup happens, the website comes crashing down uh, in no time. This is because football is the most popular sport in the world. There are people who are trying to uh, follow their respective countries. Uh, fans are trying to follow uh, about their superstar players. What about tools used by business analysts? The tools that are used by business analysts include MS Office, uh, Microsoft Visio, requirements management tool like uh, Calibre. He or she may also be using a defect management tool or any project management tool. What about the skills of a BA? Problem solving skills, critical thinking skills, decision making skills. These are very important. Uh, then comes the relation building skills, not to mention documentation and specification skills because the BA is supposed to be writing a lot of uh, documentation and requirements. And last but not the least, soft skills. What about the certification courses offered for business analysts? So this is what I found out. Business analyst certification, certified business analyst, and Certified Business Analysis Professional or CBAP are three of the certification courses uh, that I found out. There could be many more. Analysts, according to analysts, 71% of failed projects are traced to poor requirements. I repeat, 71% of failed software projects are traced to poor requirements. This makes it the single biggest reason for project failure, bigger than poor technology and missed deadlines. Need I say anything more about the importance of having a business analyst in an organization? Having worked with business analysts in corporate and the fact that this role is vital to the growth of an organization, I'm convinced that business analysis is one course that should be taught in MBA and engineering colleges. Mind you, it is not the same as business analytics. Now that is one subject that is taught in management institutes. The focus of business analytics is data. It is about analyzing past business performance and predicting the current or the future business performance. Whereas the focus of business analysis, as we discussed, is identifying business needs and recommending solutions. Business analysis is about process, whereas business analytics deals with data and reporting. As a member of advisory board, I was able to introduce the subject business analysis in one of the management institutes where I teach. During campus placement, quite a few companies hire students for the role of a BA. Without having business analysis as a subject when companies can hire for BA role. Imagine what will happen when colleges actually have business analysis in their curriculum. In my workshop for business analysis, I always share an anecdote about a commerce student. He did not have any computer science background, no IT background, but he was able to manage, a, manage he was able to manage uh, to get a job of a business analyst in one of the reputed multinational companies. If a commerce student with no computer science background can work as a BA, so can you. Business analyst is definitely a role worth pursuing as a career option. Thank you for watching.